Yeah, it's a, uh, we've obviously had a day off yesterday and um, a review day on, on Tuesday and pretty light run, so uh, ready to get out there today and um, yeah, just get back on the on the training track and have some good energy and good vibe about the group and um, yeah, and, and just get out there and get ready for Sunday. Not a great start to the year. How's Clarko been reacting? Is he sort of the coach that stomps his feet, yells and screams, or has he been? How is he exactly? Oh, he's probably had every right to do what you just said, but no, he's been measured, um, as we all have. It's obviously not a great start, and we haven't been in this position before, so um, I guess if you rant and rave, um, you might miss the point of, of what we need to achieve and what we need to get out of, um, I guess, our reviews. So uh, we've had measured reviews, and um, we, we're, we're well aware of the areas we need to be improving as a side, and uh, yeah, hopefully you see those in, in the next coming weeks. How do you build that confidence? How do you get the confidence back after being up for so long? And now, yeah, it's not hard. It can turn around in a half a footy, in a, in a game of footy, and um, we just need a few things to click and a um, few people to gel, and uh, we'll, we'll get that Hawthorne brand of footy, footy playing um, the way we want it to. And uh, as you said, it takes a, a few, I guess, good, good days on the track, good, good moments out in the field, and, and you can get that confidence straight away. Top four has always been the, the Hawthorne goal over the past few seasons. Have you had to change that given the, the 04 start? Yeah, it's probably a bit cliche, but now now we've just got to take it. Um, I guess look look at the West Coast game and really analyse that, and that's got to be our focus. Um, if we if we look too far ahead, we're going to catch ourselves out. So uh, yeah, the West Coast game is our full focus, and um, we need to get that win on the board. As one of the leaders around the, the club now, do you, do you feel a real impetus to, to sort of stand up and and uh, you know I suppose show the way for the younger guys? Oh, absolutely. I guess any time you're a leader of a football club, you you got to be setting the example and, and performing on and off the field and uh, setting setting the right standards for the younger guys. And um, yeah, and, and and we've been doing that, I guess, off the field and on the field. There's a few of us that are a bit down on form, and um, it's good to see a lot of the younger guys that are playing some good footy. So um, hopefully we can yeah change that slightly, and and we can all get out there and and perform the way we wanted for the team. Have you uh, changed anything up this week, Jack? What's uh, sort of Rocky's leadership style with respect to trying to get the uh the team united and back on track. Oh, we're a united team. That's that's that doesn't change whether we win or lose. It, it, I guess it's it's just the wavering, um, the the wavering. I guess skills that that happened on the weekend that, that can dampen, I guess the spirits of the boys. But they're easy things that you can fix out in the training track. It's it's execution. It's skill errors. It's um, just poor decisions that um, are easy to fix. And and really looking forward to I guess getting out there today, training out there today, and. and Putting those things into place. It seems like a bit of a strange question, but a lot of you guys won two, three, four flags. How do the skills trail off when you must have such supreme confidence in your own ability? Like, how did this sort of happen, so to speak? Oh, it can be new guys coming into the side. It can be um, older guys just having off days. It can be a range of different things. That um, I guess on the weekend we we had our chances. We we're in the game right until the three quarter time, and um, it was just poor execution going forward that that, that hurt us and. They were able to rebound and kick easy goals, and um, it's just little things like that can, that can cost you games of footy. Cyril hasn't been himself in the next four weeks. What do you think he's doing wrong, and how is he reacting? Yeah, it's not just Cyril that, that's been down. There's a lot of us that are that are struggling to get the footy at times, and and, and um, yeah, are just playing some poor footy at, at certain times. And um, Cyril's he's a quality player, and um, I'm sure he's not too fussed by what's going on. He, he's been a quality player for numerous years, and. He's, a, he's an All-Australian and he's played some great footy and got plenty of touches in um, heaps of games. So um, I'm sure he'll come out and whether it's this week, next week, I'm sure he'll find the footy and kick a few goals, which will get um, the Hawthorne fans and, and us up and about. Jack, I know uh, trade is an open part of footy these days, everyone realises that, but does the prospect that you might have to trade possibly further guys out to generate draft picks weigh on players' minds at all? Oh, not at all. I think all that's external noise, really. Um, I'd be very surprised if there's a lot of guys reading into into all that talk. And um, I guess trades is a part of footy. I, I've been involved in one before, but um, yeah, we're at round four, and um, I think that's just external noise. How have you assessed, assessed your own form, Jack? I mean, good numbers, but perhaps haven't hit the, the scoreboard as, as much as previous years. Yeah, you're pretty much spot on there. It's uh, finding the footy and, and working the way up the ground, but um, yeah, haven't been dangerous inside forward. I guess 50 in the first uh, month of footy, but um, that's all right. There's the time will turn. It's um, it's good to see Sicily and other guys being able to hit the scoreboard and kick goals, and 
Um, that's a philosophy we've had as a, as a forward group. It, it doesn't matter who's kicking the goals as long as someone is. But um, in saying that, we do need to be kicking a lot more goals to be winning games. Well, has it been an adjustment for you having Ruffy back in, inside the forward 50? Oh, not really. It's an adjustment, I guess, for the whole group yeah, in a way. It's, a, it's good to have him back and we love having him back. And um, he's, a, he's a vital cog of our forward line and we missed him dearly last year. So um, to have him back, it, it, it mixes a few things around, but we're a much better forward line with him in there, that's for sure. You know, I realise it's external, but there's some calls in inverted commas this morning for Cyril to go straight to the midfield. Uh, what do you make of that sort of commentary? Oh, Cyril's playing in the midfield um, at certain times throughout the game. We've got a lot of our smaller forwards that go through the midfield and we, we change that, that role up. And um, yeah, once again, it, it's a whole team thing. It's a matter of we're not getting our hands on the footy. So um, it's pretty hard to help a little guy like Cyril out down forward if we're not getting the ball down there to him. So um, yeah, we just need to get our hands on the footy and um, get that Hawthorne brand of footy playing and I'm sure we'll, we'll see the results. If he plays, how do you feel about the prospect of uh, seeing Sam Mitchell on the same field? Yeah, it'll obviously be a different one. It's, uh, I'm sure he's uh, he's doing everything he can to play, and um, hope he does. You want to play against the best players in the other team, and um, I'm sure he knows Hawthorne inside out. But it'd be great to see him out there, and um, I guess have a little bit of banter with him. It's always a bit of fun. What if you have to tackle him, or you come across him in a, in a contest with your pole back? Or <laughs> no, no, you're just like anyone else. He's a he's a part of the opposition now, and um, yeah, we, we'd we'd treat him the same as any other West Coast player that would be out there. But um, yeah, it'll obviously be weird seeing him in a West Coast jumper, that's for sure. Thanks,